things change exponentially, especially societies, especially with technologies. And it might feel like we're locked into this path, like the Goliath of the internet ever expanding, ever dominant, will always be this way, but it's not so. CompuServe, AOL, Yahoo, BlackBerry, where did they all end up? It's deader than MySpace. And then the Google rose, now Amazon, Facebook. These things change fast, faster than even a megacorp with a godlike bank balance can imagine. It's empty. And autonomous networks, we are here for it. Over the past year, we've quietly launched the autonomy network, testing in the wild, measuring, hardening, doing the work that can only be done at scale in the real world. Not all plain sailing, sure, but that's life at sea. Adventures at sea. 2026 is about getting this technology into people's hands. Will it DJF the internet? Hell yes. <laughs> Will it eat the cloud? Can we turn the business models of surveillance capitalism inside out? Return to something more sane, more human? Can we have an internet that's anti-fragile, resilient, that looks after our data collectively, autonomously, just as part of what the internet is? And here's a thing that might sound like an oxymoron. An autonomous network with no human at the wheel. Self-driving. What? Is exactly what gives us our online humanity back. When the infrastructure runs itself, when there's no company in the middle harvesting your attention and your data, you get to own your digital life again. Will 2026 be the year we see a different kind of cloud? Will the Jeffs, the Elons, find themselves dethroned? I don't know. But... It'll happen the way these things always do, little by little, and then all at once. It won't be a surprise, not for me at least, but here's the real question. What do you want to build with it? What do you want it to do? What do we want to inhabit? Drop past our website, autonomy.com, where we've rolled together some AI prompts that will walk you through and talk you through some of that. Decide what you want it to be or just ask for a little bit of a surprise. And then we roll up our sleeves and we use these tools. It's time to unzuck the web.